So I'm Marcia, Marcia Pease, and I am a registrar at um, Oakwood House in Maidstone. And I'm Cheryl Nichols, and I do exactly the same, celebrant and registrar. And we've done it, well, I've done it about eight years. And I must have done it for a year longer than you, you nine, nine years. Yeah. But we... we <laughs> but we also, um, we're in the team, the citizenship team. Um, so with the um, marriages, so we could have um, a civil partnership. It could be same sex, opposite sex. We have all sort of age groups, don't we? Oh, um, yeah. yeah. I like the more mature, mature I do. couples. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we do them here at Oakwood House, which is one of our lovely rooms. And we do them at other premises um, in Maidstone. But we also go out of area, don't we, sometimes? We do. So as a registrar, we um, are responsible for the legal paperwork. So we check all the details with our couples before the ceremony. A celebrant is the person that stands up in front of the bride and groom and actually asks them to repeat after me the, the vows and we ask some questions. It's such a lovely environment, isn't it? Everyone's always happy. It's not like going to another job where people are miserable. As soon as you turn up, everyone's happy. All right, they might be very nervous, but that's part of our job as yeah. well, isn't it? To try and calm them down. I mean, many, many years ago, I was driving through Maidstone and I actually saw an advertisement on the back of a bus for from KCC saying, come and be a, a marriage celebrant, a registrar. I thought, wow. <laughs> and then when I had an opportunity to do it, I, um, I did apply. And it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's the best job in the world, really. It is, yeah. it is. I know, so I just saw this bus and I thought, oh, I really want to do that. And I'm so pleased that I did eventually get to do it. And, um, and I love it. We go to some fantastic places. Oh, there are some lovely Castles. places. We go to castles. We do. You've been to um, a, a ceremony which was used, it's a bit more um, like a festival vibe, isn't it? Oh, some yes, yes. Some of them, yes. in the field. In your wellies, didn't wear your wellies, Joe. <laughs> more like wellies. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, and um, so it's, it's great, the venues. It, there's so many different venues. There's, there's somewhere for everyone, isn't everyone's there? Everyone's taste and everyone, everyone, everyone can afford as well. What is really, really nice um, since the last couple of years, um, although we used to take great pride when we used to have a big register and we used to have, you know, we'd be t tested when we in, had our interviews for our handwriting. We did. And we used to take great pride in writing the register and we used to handwrite certificates. But it's been electronic for a couple of years now. Yeah. 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 But the benefit of that, which is, you know, is, um, is that mothers can now be on uh, a couple's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Mothers can now be on a couple's um, registration because it is always a father. It was always just the father, wasn't it? Yeah. But now they can have four. They can have natural parents, adopted parents, or step parents. It's so much nicer. It is a lot of responsibility. Yeah, I, th I think so. Totally. I mean, we have to. There's certain words that we have to make sure are said properly in the prescribed way. Um, that's their um, declaration and um, contractory marriage vows. So they do have three choices, um, but it has to be said in a certain way, using their full names and everything. Mm, yeah. mm. And some people always say beforehand. Do you have to say my middle name? Because some are a bit embarrassing, aren't they? But I'm afraid we do. We do have we do have some themed ceremonies. Not, oh, not often, yeah. but I know that. And quite often, uh, Star Wars features a lot. Yeah, in a especially marriage. on the fourth of May. Yep. Yeah, that's it. May the fourth be, be with, with you. you. Yeah. And so couples, they may have Star Wars music coming down, um, coming down the aisle, and they quite often have little Star Wars characters and pins and things. Star Wars is very popular, isn't mm. it? I haven't had anyone dressed as Darth Vader or anything. <laughs> Not yet, no, no. I did a Peaky Blinders once. Oh, That was lovely because all of the women were all dressed in their 1920s oh, dresses nice. with the feathers and all the guys had their braces on. <laughs> A little cat, yeah, that was quite nice. You have all the fun, don't you? Yeah. Well, one of them was at the gardens, and their best man or best person, you weren't with me, were you? No, I don't know. I no. Didn't tell me. <laughs> was a horse. My favourite part of a marriage, of wedding ceremony, is when. Um, and the men are the ones who are going to cry. So we're, mm -hmm. we're sitting here and um, and the, the bride comes down the aisle towards the groom, if it's same-sex ceremony, and um, 
and, and when that's, the groom looks around at the bride, that's what I like to see. And, and very often, it's, if someone's going to cry, it's the grooms, isn't it? Is it is the yeah. groom. So we always have tissues ready. Yeah, yeah. Don't we? yeah. And it's usually the grooms that are the big, beefy ones, you know, isn't it? Mm. it that, that cry. Yeah. I mean, for myself, I, we've had some ceremonies. There was one, an occasion, which um, we, a colleague and I, we were at the Black Horse at Thurnham. Mm. And that was the day when um, uh, the bridge on the, a, on the M20 at sort of Trosley Way, Addington, it collapsed because something hit. And the bride was the other side of this bridge. And, and everyone was here and we were saying, we're waiting. So um, my colleague and I, we didn't, we weren't rushing off. Sometimes we have to go to another ceremony, mm. don't we? It's but we weren't that, that day. Yeah. We got a cup of tea. We're sitting there talking to everybody and having a nice time. And we're getting these um, little, you know, she's texting and things. And I know that there was a rugby team there and they were sort of um, helping her. And I think her dress was at the venue, so it's all of it. But then, of course, eventually they opened up the motorway and, and they was able to get her off. And I think she might have even had a police escort to us. So <laughs> we was quite a few hours late. But yeah. It's not often we, you know, even if there's a fire or anything, we, we do our utmost to get of a couple we married, do. wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, that reminded me of another one where the bride's car broke down and there was um, someone in a VW camper van and he said, Don't worry, come in the camper van with me. So he took the bride and her bridesmaids to the wedding, didn't know who she was at all. But so they got invited to the wedding, <laughs> which was rather nice. Yeah. But that's what you're saying, isn't it, about um, that it's a happy, joyous occasion. It is. I mean, we do do some ceremonies which are more poignant. Yes. Um, we might do them. We've done them together yeah, in people's have. homes. But at the same time, there is still that element of joy, isn't there? There is. So you know, they, they, these are ones where they're in bed and they're... they're oh dying basically aren't they so yeah end of yeah. life yeah so um and we go along you know it might be might be here it could but it's generally at um at someone's, someone's house, home some, sometimes at a hospital mm -hmm. um, but we still deliver that ceremony we have to be very very professional um mm. because obviously it's quite upsetting for everybody but they are, they are still really nice ceremonies aren't they I they think. are they? see now this year Cheryl I was hoping that I would do my thousandth ceremony oh I've never counted see? well you must be about that as well I mean I would have yeah. done it by now if it wasn't the pandemic yeah. I would have done my mm. thousand mm. so um, so I'm, I'm waiting and when I'm like, when getting close to that thousand this where are you <laughs> where are you I don't know when it's going to be yet but oh, right. I'm hoping it's this year so. oh, I'm oh what, what a number I'm on now so I'm probably on about 920 or 30. So I've got about... I'm going to go home and look at all my old diaries <laughs> and count out. So, so everyone says to me, how do you know? But I've always kept a record every yeah, year of yeah. how many I've done. I mean, through the pandemic, we didn't really do many ceremonies unless there was a particular special reason that yeah. we, a team might have been sent. But we did do citizenship, didn't we? We did. We did individual ones. We did one-to-ones, first of all, and everyone was all masked up and gloved sometimes. Yeah. And, 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 we, and we did those. And then we started doing one-to-fives. Yep, we did. One to fives, and then one to tens, and then it got bigger. And this year we're back to uh, our normal capacity for citizenship. Okay, 25. Yeah, so 25, we've done them twice and twice a day, and sometimes three times a day. And we do them in this room, mm. and we've got a photographer again now, and we have um, um, refreshments and tea and cake now, which is all new, doesn't it? And yeah. Uh, and our dignitaries are back with us as well. So, yeah. Yeah, they're really joyous occasions, aren't they? Oh, I love those, yeah. Yeah, so um, so obviously it's a home office, but we um, yeah, so we um, do a speech. We have um, dignitaries here, normally the um, chairman or vice chairman or past chairman of Kent County Council, and we always have a deputy lieutenant, and um, they do a speech. And um, some of them even dress up, don't they? Like the one this morning. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. So if um, they uh, like military or something, or they deputy lieutenant outfit with a sword and spurs and their hat. It's really things, lovely. Yeah. And um, yes, yeah, so we did that this morning. We've done those, and we present them with their, um, their certificates, certificate. and they become British citizens. And it's a really joyous occasion, it isn't is, it? It yeah. is. I did do a citizenship, oh, going back a couple of years now, and there was the lady became a new citizen, and we always give them a complimentary jar of Kentish jam, which has come a bit of a joke, really, hasn't it? But. That's what we do. They do love it. Though. They do. <laughs> and this was during lockdown, 
so they didn't have any guests with them. And this particular lady, um, someone saw her go out where her husband-to-be was outside, and she went out saying, I've got jam, I've got jam. And about three weeks later, she came in as a bride. And so I actually married her. And so her husband, when I said that they're married, he said, where's my jam? <laughs> Um, it's, uh, someone asked me this morning, actually, what you know, why one of the sitters, why have we got a Kentish strawberry jam? It's just a complimentary little gift from Kent. I don't know what they do in Bexley. You know, it might be, could be a mug or a photograph or a pen or a key ring. Mm. It's just a little, uh, you know, it's from Y, and it's apparently really lovely jam. So <laughs> apparently, it's on sale in Waitrose, and it's very expensive. So. <laughs> guess the citizens and their guests know that they're going to get, get tea and cake but um, it is a nice moment isn't it it is, and, um, it is a yeah. nice moment yeah and we'll have a chat see then afterwards the ceremony we can have a chat with our new citizens and find out a little bit about them and you know talk about their jobs and and how long they've been in the country which is sometimes a long time isn't it and yeah. um you know, where they live, and, and they've travelled from the coast. This morning I had people from Margate and Birchington, so they've mm. travelled a long way here. It's all over Kent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of our job is meeting all these couples and the guests. Yeah, and, and making them feel at ease, yeah, really. Yeah, and yeah. the citizens and everything, and it, it's just... I love it. You've gone over that, haven't we? We're on 25. Oh. <laughs> she said 15, didn't yeah, she? she? She's going to edit it. <laughs>